So like a lot of people, I've kind of forced myself to stop paying attention to Donald Trump's crazy rantings because he's not going to change. Like, it doesn't matter what evidence is or isn't released. He's just going to keep complaining about election fraud and how it was stolen from him all the way until he leaves. And then once he's out of office, he's probably still going to complain. It's just it, it's never going to end. Uh, but I decided to uh, break my self-imposed ban on Donald Trump and check in on him. And I mean, it's honestly shocking. He has basically been in a permanent state of delusion since the election. And just within the last two days, this was filmed on Monday. This is all of the tweets he's made about the election and how it was stolen from him. He says Republican governor of Florida refuses to do signature verification, which would give us an easy win. What's wrong with this guy? What is he hiding? Oh, he's the one who's hiding something. He quote tweeted Mark Levin saying, so true, no way we lost this election. And then he retweeted his quote tweet of Mark Levin. <laughs> he then quote tweeted a conspiracy mongering video from Newsmax TV. And he says, this is a must watch. Hope the lawyers are taking notes. All facts. Do not flag this Twitter. <laughs> and then he again retweeted himself um, because, of course, he then retweeted three different videos from Mark Levin where he talks about supposed election fraud. And then he says, uh, gee, what a surprise. Has anyone informed the so-called says he has no power to do anything? Governor of Georgia, Brian Kemp and his puppet Lieutenant Governor Jeff Duncan, uh, that they could easily solve this mess and win signature verification and call a special session. So easy. He then retweeted a quote from Sidney Powell, where she warns states to not certify the results of their elections uh, because they may be complicit in fraud if they do so, um, ignoring the fact that they are legally obligated to certify the results. Nonetheless, um, the last tweet that I saw that he put out uh, within the last two days is uh, him saying, I won the election. Big. Big league. All of this within two days. I know that most of us are used to this and most of us are already desensitized to his shenanigans. But still, this is the president of the United States having a meltdown on Twitter. I mean, your racist uncle who you see post boomer memes on Facebook is probably less unhinged than the actual president, the man with the nuclear launch codes. This is like somewhat entertaining and funny, but it's still a little bit unsettling because this dipshit, he can still do a lot of damage. Like we've seen the way that he's escalated with regard to uh, Iran. So he's unhinged and he is just not going to accept the fact that he lost this election. Now, I think that privately, he probably has accepted the reality that he lost, but at the same time, publicly, like, this is all about his ego. He doesn't want to admit that he lost, so he, he's going on these weird tweets. And think of the things that he's asking. So he wants the Republican governor of Georgia, Brian Kemp, to do signature verification, and then it's an easy win. He's basically asking for ballots to be invalidated by doing this arbitrary signature match to where if your signature doesn't match the signature on your ballot perfectly, then it gets invalidated canceled out he <laughs> he wants to win by cheating basically and even if georgia did this and he won the state of georgia that's still not enough you have to overturn multiple states but yet he still says uh we won big what do you even say like it feels weird talking about this because this is so batshit insane and my commentary isn't going to add anything to this conversation. All I can do is vocalize the disbelief that I feel. But I mean, it's just, it's shocking. And really, the president alone, he can think and feel and believe whatever. But the sad part is that this actually is influencing a substantial portion of the population. Like many people believe that Trump did actually win this election and it was just stolen from him. Like that, that's not healthy for a democracy. And based on his Twitter feed, it looks like he's just scouring the internet to find anyone who's going to confirm what he wants you to hear and retweet them and tell everyone it's a must watch. This is just strange. Like, again, it's Donald Trump, but this is not normal. It's not normal. Like, this is a president who hisses. <laughs> I've got to say, I love this picture of him hissing. Uh, although he looks more normal in this picture because... He's, like, dry in this picture. Like, the president is usually unnaturally moist. Like, he's always wet. Wet. But in this picture, he's actually dry. 
but he is hissing though, so there's that. I mean, what a what a cartoonishly idiotic individual who is the president. Like the fact that he won, it really speaks to the overall stupidity of America. Like we really are the stereotype that uh, <laughs> we're portrayed as around the world. Like we're stupid, we're overconfident. I mean, yeah, he is the personification of American stupidity, and the fact that he still till this day, when most people aren't even thinking about the election, can't get over it. No way we lost this election. Maybe it's the case that you bungled your response to a global pandemic, and maybe if you just tried a little bit harder, giving people one more stimulus, you could have actually eked out a victory. It wasn't that far off. I mean, you did lose a lot of states, but you didn't necessarily lose each of those states by a lot. So this wasn't this wasn't going to be, you know, a foregone conclusion that he'd lose. In fact, before COVID-19, I thought that Donald Trump was a sure bet after we saw that Joe Biden won the nomination. But this was Trump's election to lose. And it seemed like he was trying to lose. Like anything that you shouldn't do, he did. So it's just the fact that he thinks it's impossible that he could have lost this election. It shows you how delusional he is. But I mean, I'm going to enjoy it for what it is. It's entertaining. But again... Like I said, it's unsettling because this dude, he still has a lot of power. He has the nuclear launch code, so he can he can do a lot of damage to, you know, do revenge on the country. So, yeah, you know, checking in on Donald Trump probably wasn't the best idea, but I had to do it because <laughs> somebody's got to watch him. Mike is the worst progressive on YouTube. Please don't subscribe to him or become a patron. David Dole is so much better. Trust me, folks. He's doing a great job. He really is. Okay?